They were called to what they thought was a junkyard fire, but crews were shocked to discover it was a family's home. Firefighters say the owner hoarded so much stuff, rescuers could not tell the difference in this case. ABC 15 Steve Kuj has the video. He says you have to see to believe. It just seems to be stuff t stacked on top of stuff. You know, it's, it's just like piles and piles of stuff. And that's putting it lightly. When Phoenix firefighters pulled up, they had to figure out how they were going to fight a fire they could barely get to. In their way, thousands of pieces of equipment, materials, and junk all heaped higher than the tallest rescuer. Basically, the entire yard area is just full of stuff. There's one small path to the trailer. Inside the trailer is the same way, just full of belongings. You know, we had concerns because it was you know, getting bigger and bigger all the time. Investigators tell me the fire started in the backyard and spread up to the front of the home while the homeowner was inside. Police say he was lucky to get out safe. His hoarding was an enormous fire hazard. Extremely dangerous situation, you know, for just not the occupant. If they were to have a medical emergency and fall, you're not going to be able to get to them or move them around or worse, a fire like today. Neighbors told me they watched for years as the man's mountains of stuff grew out of control. Right off from the very beginning, it's just he started collecting things and it just kind of got to be more and more. I'm surprised that, that no one has called before, or if they have called, that maybe nothing was done because it, it does look like maybe it violates some city codes, possibly. Firefighters say on the inside, the house is a total loss. Now, firefighters say that this extreme case of hoarding is almost certainly against the city of Phoenix's laws. The homeowner says that he's been collecting this stuff over the past several years, finding a lot of it at garage sales and yard sales around the Phoenix and Metro Valley area. He says he also does have a plan to use all of this. Live in South Phoenix, I'm Steve Couge, ABC 15 News.